Now here's something that's hard to do on an Arduino. Get an analog output. Hey, what's happening guys? I'm taking the, the uh, Arduino DAC, the digital to analog converter, to the PCB level. So remember last week we made the video using that MCP4901 to give the Arduino, I use the Nano, but it'll work with any Arduino. The one thing that I kind of feel like it's lacking, which is an analog output. You know, the Arduino has the uh, analog inputs, but no analog output. So with this simple chip, we can add to it. So what I've done here is I've just basically created a, a super simple breakout board. If we take a look here, you can see there's our Nano. There's the MCP4901. Then we have a header for our analog output. And then we just have pin headers going down the side. Pretty simple, right? So if we follow the pins, you can see that, um, let's zoom in here a little bit. Can we zoom in? There we go. So pin one is our power. And that is going to 5 volts. Pin 7 is our ground. And we'll bring that up here to ground. Then we have our clock, which is going down to pin 13. Then we have our, our uh, latch, which we're just taking to ground, because that'll give us an instantaneous output. Then we have our data, which we're bringing over here to pin, uh, what is it, 11. That's our Mossy master out slave in. And then we have our V reference, our vert voltage reference, which we're also bringing up to our 5 volt pin. And finally our output, which we're bringing up here to our header. And then the header also has a ground. Are you with me so far? Good. All right, so if we take a look here, you can see the layout of the board. Uh, we're looking down through the uh, the top layer there. I'll shut off the top layer, or we'll shut them all off. And we'll take a look at everything. So there's the board outline. Then we'll bring up the bottom layer, and you can see those routes on the bottom layer. Then we'll bring in the top layer. You can see our top layer routes. Then we can just bring in our silk screens and our holes. And that's basically it. Take a look at the uh, 3D rendering of it. So there's our 3D rendering. Just a simple square board with that MCP4901 and an analog output. Of course you have all these pins here as well. So just kind of a, an easy to use Arduino breakout board. Alright, let's order them up. So we're over here on PCBWay's website. We're going to go to Instant Quote. And we're going to do a quick order. Because it's fast and easy. Add our Gerber file. Download. This is called Arduino analog output there's our files we'll grab one board that's all we need green is fine nothing special everything's good again uh, the boards as you can see here five dollars shipping is where you're gonna spend some money but you can go up here and select whichever method you want I'm taking DHL, and these boards will be here in just a couple days. Now, one more thing before I forget, because I always forget. I will go here and click the share and sell so that you guys can get a hold of these files if you like them. 
So I've added the Gerber files. I shall allow them to be uh, downloaded. Arduino, breakout board, I don't know, DIY electronics. Keywords, Arduino, oops, wrong button. Uh, MCP4901 and DAC. That should be it. We'll start sharing it. Success! There we go. So now you can get it if and you want it. Alright. I'm going to go take a nap until the boards arrive. I'll see you in four days. five days later and we got a box inside that box we've got some boards yeah I changed the color to red I can never keep keep my mind straight what I want with these good thing I was not an industrial designer I'd never get anything done They pack them good. Vacuum packed. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put them together. One, put one of them together. But I'm not gonna make you watch. You've seen me solder enough, right? Right. So here's the board. All nice and soldered up. I didn't have long enough headers, so I had to splice a couple of them together. But I wrote a little program. Remember, uh, using the DAC library for the MCP4901, you have uh, the command DAC dot output and then in parentheses your value from 0 to 255 for the 8-bit DAC so I just wrote a 4 next loop that counts uh, from 0 to 255 and then from 255 down to 0 and if you take a look what we end up with is what looks like a capacitor charging and discharging but basically yeah that is an analog output from an Arduino so this could be useful for a lot of things, especially if you want your Arduino to output audio. Um, let's take a look at some measurements here. We'll see what kind of voltage we're getting. Measure uh, voltage average. Why am I not seeing anything? Hang on, let's switch scopes. Okay, so... Uh, it's not measuring... I'm getting a, a frequency measurement of like 22 hertz. Tell you what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, speed up the frequency. And we'll see what we get. That might be the problem. Okay, it's uploading and done uploading. An auto set here. Forty three kilohertz, but why is it measuring? Well, at one volt, you have to do it the old-fashioned way. One and out says we're less than two hertz. I shouldn't be right. Okay, there we are. I took out the one millisecond delay. So now we're looking at 82 hertz, 53% duty cycle, 1.34 RMS with a peak voltage of uh, 5 volts peak 5 volt? yeah channel 1 max 2.52 so about 5 volts peak to peak <clears throat> I 
And that, my friends, is an analog output from an Arduino. Super simple. We just used that one little chip right there, the MCP4901. We looked at it last time on a breadboard, and there it is now on a PCB. You can download for free. I'll put the link down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this, let me know. I'm thinking of um, maybe adding a potentiometer on here so we could control it better, maybe. What do you think? Let me know. All right. All right, that's it for me. Please feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring the video. That's it. I'm out. Peace.